Scarring and recovery times are both concerns for people facing surgery. And after any procedure, you want to get back to your normal routine as quickly as possible. And that's why single incision surgery is such a big deal. And it's offered right here close to home. This is Quality 365, your inside look at Lake Regional Health System. Lake Regional Health System, here for you at Lake Regional. We're here with Dr. Scott Brick, a board certified general surgeon. Dr. Brick, tell us about single incision surgery. Give us the overview. Single incision surgery has evolved from the traditional four incision laparoscopic surgery, which required, of course, four incisions to make. Today, we have the advantage of having single incision surgery, which, which is a single incision, usually made at the belly button. The benefits, of course, are uh, less uh, scarring, less chance of infection, uh, quicker recovery, and a quicker return to work. So this is the uh, traditional trocar we use for uh, traditional laparoscopic surgery. And this, again, is 12 millimeters in size, and you'd require it for a traditional gallbladder, you'd need four of these uh, inserted uh, to make visualization and removal of the gallbladder possible. Today, we have this single uh, port, or single trocar, which is about 12 to 15 uh, millimeters in size, and you're, you can uh, operate all the camera and all the devices to remove the gallbladder through this single incision. This is the uh, traditional laparoscope that we uh, have been using for years and years. And you can see it's a non-flexible uh, tip. Uh, it's, this particular scope is a zero angle, meaning it has no angulation at all. Uh, non-flexible tip and is also uh, one centimeter in its uh, diameter. More recently, the hospital has acquired this flexible tip laparoscope, which is five millimeters, so half the size, and also has the flexible tip. And as you can see, it can go in uh, 180 degrees in any angle not only right and left, but uh, in any angle the, com the camera operator wishes to do. So when we talk about the ideal candidate for single incision surgery, who is that person? So ideally, uh, the patients would be medium or average build. Um, and then, it, but of course, this is taken case by case basis. Now this can be done on uh, obese patients, but then you run a slightly in increased chance of uh, the incision site herniating. Now is single incision surgery something that's widely available? Uh, it does require some additional training uh, as compared to a traditional ge uh, general surgeon, uh, so it is not available at every hospital. But for patients who would like to stay close to home and would like to recover and follow up close to home, right here at Lake Regional Health System. So hit me with the highlights one more time, the highlights of SIS or single incision surgery. So you have uh, one, inc one incision, aesthetically much better looking, uh, less chance of infection, uh, less pain, quicker recovery and uh, sooner return to work. Well, Dr. Brick, thank you so much for your time today. For more information on Lake Regional General Surgery and SIS, log on to lakeregional.com. This is Quality 365, your inside look at Lake Regional Health System. Lake Regional Health System.